What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great Monday. I know Mondays are hard because the weekend is over, and it's back to work, back to life, back to reality, and so on, but it's a new week. But we've gotten this week out the way excuse me, this beginning of the week. It's all downhill from here. Uh, tomorrow's Taco Tuesday, and who doesn't like Taco Tuesday? Um, just got finished doing my live stream, and um, it's kind of funny. Um, it's kind of funny because Eagle fans will say constantly they want people to be scared of them, like any bully. They want people to be afraid of them because then they don't have to worry about actually confronting them. If people are scared of them, they'll stay away as opposed to actually having to deal with them, actually having to put up or shut up. Um, the reason I talk about the Eagles is because they're in our division. They are an impediment to where we want to be. We have to play them twice a year. You can't ignore a team that you play and you want to beat. You want to know everything there is to know about that team and how to beat them. It's not really rocket science. It shouldn't really be a surprise. I mean, typically, you want to know the competition. Okay? Um, it's still crazy to me how much people will say, Dak is just not that dude. You know, I, I've literally got people saying, Dak Prescott must pay you because you're always defending him and stuff. No, I recognize I, I'm more of a rational person here because people don't look at the big picture, okay? Did we play terrible against the 49ers? Yes. But once you lost Tony Pollard and you got Zeke Elliott, who was more of a shell of himself after having a hyperextended knee, and an offensive line that's not great. All things that Troy Aikman had when they were winning Super Bowls, things that Roger Staubach had when they were winning Super Bowls. And when you got rid of Amari Cooper, you handicapped yourself. All I've been saying is, is you need to do things to help Dak Prescott. And for the Cowboys to get Brandon Cooks, now again, he's going to be 30 years old. You like what you're hearing from Brandon Cooks, who's enjoying being here with Dak after having um, Davis Mills throwing to him last year. And um, I'm trying to think who was there the year before. Um, hmm. Can't remember the other quarterback that they had in 2021. Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod Taylor. Here's what gives me hope for a second here. I want you to think about something right now. If you take... Noah Brown, Jalen Tolbert, Semi Fioco, and anybody else we put in last season at wide receiver besides Michael Gallup and CeeDee Lamb, Brandon Cooks in a down year, one of his worst years, with again, Davis Mills. Now, I know that you know ESPN is going to try and sell you that Dak Prescott and Davis Mills are the same guy because they had the same amount of interceptions. But Dak Prescott, when he was on the field, the Cowboys had the highest scoring offense. Davis Mills, they averaged about 17 points a game. Be that as it may, Brandon Cooks had almost 700 yards, 699 yards with Davis Mills throwing to him on a pathetic offense that literally scored 17 points a game. Brandon Cooks having that season alone is better than what we had last year. It was so bad. How bad was it? You could almost take Noah Brown's statistics and Michael Gallup's and combine them and Brandon Cooks on an off year with a terrible quarterback and a terrible offensive scheme where they basically were tanking, almost had as much yards as those two combined. That's a fact. 
If you go back to 2021, where it was Tyrod Taylor and Davis Mills, a rookie, third-round drafted quarterback, throwing to Brandon Cooks, he was over 1,000 yards. If we get that Brandon Cooks, or even the year before when Deshaun Watson was throwing to him, I think he had um, 1,150 yards, be it they were a losing record there. They, they were ass. I think they won four games, so they were playing from behind a lot. But if you get a Brandon Cooks that he might be slowed down some at 30, but if you get one of those Brandon Cooks with a C.D. Lamb, this offense is going to be humming. If you get a Michael Gallup who's closer to where he was before the injury, although I will say Michael Gallup's numbers had declined with injuries even before being out with the ACL. If you get a Michael Gallup who's a little bit better than where he was, and then you get role players like, you know, Jalen Tolbert who's able to play better than he was in a semi who can get out on the field, your wide receiver core will be very, very good. Brandon Cooks will be a major upgrade from Noah Brown. Sorry. Sorry, Eastside Herald. Uh, Brandon Cooks is going to be a lot better than what you got out of Noah Brown. Just is. Now, that's not to say that the Cowboys shouldn't be looking to still continue to upgrade. There's this thing about... Let me ask you this question, okay? Which is easier to find a better quarterback or to find upgrades at running back and wide receivers. Seems like there's a lot of running backs that are out there. Seems like there's a lot of running backs that are out there that you can get relatively cheaply. Seems like there are wide receivers out there that you can get and plug in. Quarterbacks, Did you see how much the Jets had to go through to get an Aaron Rodgers who has declined three years in a row? Did you notice that? Do you understand how much they had to give up? Did you understand how much Carolina had to give up to move up to try and draft a quarterback? Trying to get a quarterback is hard. So the best thing you can do is get the best quarterback that you can within reason and surround them with talent. Get them a good offensive line. Get them a good running back. Get them a good offensive uh, coordinator who can take the things that that quarterback does well and use those. And here's what I believe Mike McCarthy being an experienced play caller. They've already tried to upgrade the talent. We believe the offensive line should be better than it was last year because Tyler Smith will be better his second year. That we are getting Tyron Smith as a swing tackle probably unless uh, Igato, Chima Igato, um, don't know what I got for Mr. Roboto, who will be playing left uh, guard, should be better than what we had with Connor McGovern. The offensive line should be better. That Biotish, now in his third year or fourth year, should be better at center. Zach Martin will still be his self. And Terrence Steele, hopefully has completely recovered. You believe the offensive line will be better. You believe the wide receiver core will be better. And you believe that Mike McCarthy will use play calling better and understand the things that Dak does well. Dak is great outside the pocket. Dak Prescott is great on bootlegs. Dak Prescott is great with timing routes. The Cowboys are great with two tight end sets, 12 personnel, that we will use these things more than the combination routes with inexperienced receivers that don't necessarily know the plays. That you go through and you work to help your quarterback be successful as opposed to not so much. So Brandon Cooks will be huge for this offense. Brandon Cooks will be huge for Dak Prescott. And I think Dak Prescott will be huge for renovating Brandon Cooks' career. So, that's all I got to say about that. Um, Eagle fans, 
Love you guys. <laughs> oh, love you guys. Just be cool. I'm saying that you Eagle fans and you Eagle players, you are writing one hellacious check. And I'm not sure that you guys can cash that check. Because if you don't, at this point, it's Super Bowl or bust for you guys. That nothing short of a Super Bowl win with all of the smack that you guys have talked. If you're not winning the Super Bowl, I'm going to clown your ass. Anyway, good people. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies, for listening, putting up with me, and being my therapist. Remember, God, remember. The world has gotten to be a crazy place. You don't know any longer where you feel safe anymore. Movie theater, at the mall, bus stop, at work. There's so much hate and animosity out there that you just don't know. I pray for all of us. And remember to tell the people you love, you love them. Because unfortunately, you might not get the chance again. And I love you guys. Have a great night. And God willing, I'll see you tomorrow.